boys and girls. Welcome back. I have a book I'm going to share with you called Fall Changes. I'm trying something a little differently this time to see if you can see the pictures better. So what do you see on the front here? Do you see some friends playing in the leaves? Sometimes when the leaves fall off the trees, people like to use a rake and go out in the yard and put all of the leaves together in a pile. And what do you do in it? Well, you go run and jump in it, of course. Then you throw the leaves up in the air and then you have to rake them all over again. It's a lot of fun. I think I might need to go do this at home this evening with my family. Okay, so this is called Fall Changes. And it's written by Ellen C. Sensi. Okay, so, and I'm going to do this a little differently than I usually do. It's fall change. We're going to see the book zoomed in, maybe. And this dedication page here, and I think this one's pretty cool because it shows the picture of the person. It's for Marion. So the author dedicated this book to Marion. Okay. The weather is changing. It's chilly. It's fall, kind of what we talked about a little bit ago. So if you notice during the fall, sometimes our clothing changes. We go from maybe wearing tank tops and short sleeves to having to wear long sleeves or sweatshirts sometimes. Mornings are wet with dew. Sometimes it's foggy too. And I've noticed that this week looking outside is that the grass is wet in the mornings. And it's looking a little cloudy outside, which is the fog. Night comes earlier and earlier. But we still keep playing as long as twilight falls. So you're probably experiencing this right now. The evenings are starting to get a little shorter. And nighttime is coming a little bit sooner. So it gets dark out earlier and earlier. But if you're like us at our house, we try to play as long as we can. So sometimes it's getting a little bit darker before we go inside. When it's rainy and cool outside, inside it's dry and cozy. People put on sweaters and jackets. Warm clothes feel very comfortable right now. So you're probably starting to really feel like this. And we talked about how sometimes during fall that it stays, it gets warmer in the afternoons and evenings, but then it gets cooler at night. Sometimes, especially as fall gets a little later in the year, it gets cooler and cooler. So you're going to get more and more comfortable wearing sweatshirts and long sleeves. In orchards, crisp red apples hang ready to be picked. In the gardens, the last fruits and vegetables ripen. So this is a good time of year for apples. And they are getting ready to be picked. So if you have an apple orchard nearby, you could always visit an apple orchard. And we talked about that. You got to watch a virtual tour of one a couple weeks ago. Fall foods are beautiful to look at. Fall foods are even better to eat. Those are some fall foods. I see some pumpkins and some squash, some apples. I see some peppers there, all kinds of things. And then here's some friends eating some fresh apple sauce, it looks like. So their family used their apples to make applesauce. In fall, flowers and plants dry and harden. They change to lovely browns. And you'll see that outside. We talked about some of the leaves were doing that, but also other things that grow outside are starting to turn brown. Some leaves on trees change colors too, turning brilliant shades of red and orange and golden yellow. They brighten up the day until they fall down. And then the trees look completely bare. 
pine cones and seed pods and nuts also fall to the ground. So if you live anywhere near the woods, which we live in West Virginia, so there's always woods nearby us. They might not be right outside our house, but they're somewhere you can probably look at. You will see the nuts on the ground and the leaves on the ground, pine cones. Wild animals scurry here and there collecting their food. So right there you see a squirrel. And at my house we see lots of squirrels collecting nuts. See if I can get a video of them later for you. Many animals change in the fall. They grow longer fur or thicker wool to keep as warm as they can. Because what's coming after fall? What season is next? Winter! Kiss your brains. You guys are so smart. Some birds fly away to hot, sunny places. You probably have seen this. If you look up at the sky, you see large groups of birds flying together. We celebrate fall with happy holidays. There is an excitement at Halloween. So what do you do on Halloween? You dress up, don't you? You get to dress up in costumes and go trick-or-treating? Or have a party with your family? Kinds of cool costumes. What kind of costumes do you see on this page? Skeletons, I see a Batman, maybe a princess, maybe Princess Jasmine there. There's thankfulness. What holiday do we celebrate thankfulness for? Thanksgiving! Nice job. And we celebrate fall by just having fun. Look around and see. Fall changes happen again and again. So fall brings lots of change with it until fall ends and winter begins. So like we said, winter's right around the corner. We just started fall, but winter is coming. Okay, thanks for watching.